busting job of feeling like a oven. Her neighbors know they hear me, but they cannot tell me nothing. You know I put in work every day under construction. I'm gon' stack these nuggets, golden nuggets. I'm about to break the bank. What's going on, everybody? It's Tyler. You're watching Cappuccino TV, and welcome back to another video. This is Vlogmas Day 7, maybe? Seven? It's Vlogmas Day 6, y'all, and I'm excited. I've been working really, really hard, and I'm so glad that it's almost been a whole week. Like, I have been this for a whole week. Yeah, so I'm back with another story time, and it's gonna be lit. So, before I get into the story, Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, let's get ready for it. Well, let's get right into the video. <laughs> All right, so as you can tell about the title, this is this story is about when I got followed um, home. So <clears throat> this started maybe, so this happened like maybe two years ago, a year or two ago, which is really, really crazy to think about. It might have been maybe, it's almost two years, but it's been like one to two years. Um, I was actually still in school and I was leaving for my last class. Um, at this time, I had the red car. I don't know if I made a story time about that or not, but this is the car I have now is the second car I've had since I've been driving. Um, the first car, I paid straight cash for it. Um, it was a 2001 Chevy Cavalier. So it was manual windows, um, it was an automatic thing, but it was a two-seater and it had automatic locks and, um, no, I'm sorry, it had manual locks and manual windows. So um, I would often lock my keys in the car because I would like, I would open a door and lock it at the same time, put my keys on the seat, get like my jacket on and then close the door and be like, freak. I literally locked my keys in the car again. Um, but that happened often. Oh yeah, so that happened often. Um, so this particular day I left class and I was actually supposed to be on this little diet. Um, I'm always on a diet and it just never seems to stick with me. Um, there's this place called um, The Sweet Palette. It's down, it was downtown Fayetteville. Well, it was on, yeah. It's downtown um, Fayetteville. And my, I love school to go downtown to get a cookie. Cause I think, or uh, to get a cupcake. Um, Cause I think I was doing something after. I don't really remember. I don't really remember why I wanted to go to, um, that place so bad. Like I, I went right after school. Um, so when I was, so I went downtown and I parked. Um, it's like I parked in front of um, the fried turkey shop. I think <laughs> I parked right in front of there. And like I said, I opened the door and locked it at the same time. So when I would open it, I would go ahead and lock it because I was gonna forget, you know, otherwise. So somehow I left my keys right on the driver's seat and um, I got the car and I, but I, I always have my phone with me. That's one thing that I'm probably never going to leave or lose. Um, I'm always going to have my phone with me regardless. So um, the door and then I'm like, I did it again because at this point it was not the first time I locked my keys in the car. It was like the millionth time I locked my keys in the car. But I went ahead and got my little cupcake and I ate in there. Well, no, first, so before I went into the cupcake place, I um, called AAA. Um, I thank God for that because um, if not, I would've been stuck. Anyway, so I called AAA um, and then I went into the sweet palette. I ordered my red velvet cupcake. And I ate, and I, no, I have a cupcake and a macaroon, I believe, or macaroon, I don't know how you say it. So I ate it, and then I was like, mm, well, I cannot stay in here the whole time because they said it was gonna be about an hour to an hour and a half. 
So I was like, okay, let me enjoy downtown because I've never been down. I mean, I've never been downtown by myself and like walked down by myself. So I went somewhere. I was I was just walking, and then this homeless man came. He was like, hey, bro, like, um, I just. Um, me and my wife and my family got groceries and we're at the bus stop, we need money, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, um, I don't have anything, all of my money's in the car, and I'm, I'm like, in my car. So this homeless man, let's name him, let's call him homeless man, because I cannot think, I can't remember names. So homeless man was like, well, I'll get a, I'll get a hanger and I will, uh, open the car for you. And I'm like, um, no, like, it's okay. I have AAA coming. He was like, oh no, I'll do it because, you know, AAA is only going to do this, 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 and this. And I'm like, okay, AAA might only do this, this, and this, but I, I trust AAA. That's what I, that's what I want to do it. Um, he was like, okay, that's fine. Um, do you, and, he, and then he just like kept following me and wondering where stuff was and like where this was, where that was. And I'm just like, he then leaves and he might be going to other people to ask them for money. I'm not really sure because I'm just like, you know, oh no, like, leave me alone. Um, but he left. So I'm walking down downtown. I'm walking downtown. So, while I'm walking downtown, the AAA guy called me. He was like, hey, I'm like four, 45 minutes away. Da, 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 da. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Mind you, my phone is on a good, like, I believe like 10%. And I'm like, the one thing that cannot happen right now is for my phone to die. Because if my phone dies, the AAA people can't call me. Um, they can't really find me. If something happens, who am I going to call? Um, so I was really nervous about that because I did not want my phone to die. So I talked to him. I was like, <laughs> because I was not trying to stand up on long because at that time I knew the battery was going to go down. Like it was going to go further and further down. <laughs> so um, I called my mom and I was like, mom, I left, I locked my keys in the car. Like, I need, like, I'm just, I, I, I think I just called her and told her I was downtown and I was scared because that's what I was. Um, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm a, I'm a nervous, like, person. I'm a nervous, I'm a nervous person by nature. So, like, when things happen like that, I'm, like, scared, like, something's gonna happen because I haven't really had anything bad happen to me like that. I'm not like a troubled kid, a troubled person. So I don't run into like, I don't run into conflict that can like kill me, you know? <laughs> and I ran, and this is the first time I was like in conflict that killed me, being downtown. Cause I'm just like, oh, I don't really know what's down here. And it's just like, I'm nervous and I'm disgusted. I'm everything. Lady walked up to me. She said, hey, I need some money. Um, I, I think she said like, I got you for $10. And I'm like, um, what do you mean you got me for ten dollars? She's like, you know, I'll um, I'm gonna try to put this in the most <laughs> appropriate way I can. She was like, you know, I'll um, I'll pleasure you for ten dollars. And I said, this is outrageous. I am, this is beyond me. I'm literally like, I'm shocked. Um, if I had pearls, I would clutch them. I can't believe I just got approached by a, and she asked me to pleasure me for $10. And I was like, um, I'm a child, I am 16 years old. And she said, okay. And I'm just like. You nasty. You don't care but i guess not because you need the money he eventually went away i don't really know she just like walked away um i guess she was she was like yeah you ain't about it and honestly i was not about it because 
Don't think I was about was going home because I was scared at this point. Like I was like, yeah, I'm about to get robbed. Because honestly, if you want to be honest, if you saw me in person, I am somebody that you would probably rob. It's not something you should do because believe it or not, I got something. I got something for you if you, if you try to rob me. I'm someone that someone would look at and be like, oh yeah, he's robbable because. Like, so then a couple minutes pass and then I am like, I'm like down the. Uh, no, I'm coming. I'm coming back to my car, and the, and the, the guy called me. He was like, "Hey, I am now um, 30 minutes away." Now, mind you, when he first called me, he said he was 45 minutes away, and then he. It was a very. It was like. It was a very long time when he called until he called me again. And he said it was 30 minutes, and I'm like, okay, so <laughs> when are you getting here? Like, you obviously want me to die. So, at this point, walking to my car. And somebody was driving, and they stuck their hand in the window. Was like, "Hey, how are you?" Like they was like, and and you know, I'm thinking maybe like they know me, so I'm like, "Oh, like hey, how are you?" Like, hey. Um. So I got to my car, and the man called me. He was like, "Yeah, I'm pulling up." Like he he was like, "I'll be there in like maybe ten minutes, maybe." And I'm like, "Thank God for Jesus, because <laughs> I'm I'm over here about to die." Um, and mind you, I was I was downtown for a good like maybe like a good hour maybe like I was downtown. For, I'm not gonna say hour. I'm gonna say like I know honestly I was there for like an hour. I was there for a very long time. Um, anyway, but he called me and I'm like cool. So when I'm at my car, the homeless man comes and he's like, Hey, how you doing? I'm like, hey, did, did you get a car open yet? And I'm like, No, I don't have any money like i don't like no i the car did not open he was like oh, okay and then he stayed like by by the turkey shop window so then this this other man came up he was like hey man uh how are you doing i haven't seen y'all in a while and i am like um i have no clue who you are tow truck the tow truck guy is eventually he's he's here he's out the car he was like um where's tyler and i'm like me 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 thank you like thank you for coming i'm tyler get the keys out the car so i can go home because i'm now i'm nervous because people are approaching me the homes man want money the other man told me some he know me and i don't, I don't know him from a can of paint so the man is like yeah you know i know i, I know your people um i went to school i went to high school with your mom now my mom went to a high school called kfu right um, so I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Um, so when he said I went to high school with your mom and I know your people, I was like, oh, you went to Westover? And he was like, yeah, man, I went to Westover with your mom. Gotcha, bitch. I don't know what people think they don't know where their mom went to high school at, but I know my mom went to Cape Fear. So I said, okay, so obviously I'm about to get kidnapped. Like, this is in my mind. Like, I'm about to get kidnapped and God knows what's going to happen to me. I don't know. And so I'm like, great, amazing. So now I gotta, now I have to survive <laughs> because at this point I'm about to get kidnapped. So he was like, yeah, man, I've seen you in forever. How y'all been? Da, 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 da. And I'm like, um, we've been good. And, it, it, and the the AAA man is trying so hard to get the keys to the window, but it seems like he's taking like five hours to get the keys out. I mean, to get the keys out the car. And I'm like. Can we please hurry this process up? Because honestly, I'm over here about to get kidnapped and you do not care. So, um, so the man is like, the, uh, the, the random man is like, yeah, um, you shoot pool and I know y'all shoot pool, da, 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 da. He's just telling all these stories like as, as if he knows my mom and my family. And I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. Because I feel like, you know, this the thing. I think <laughs> if you go along with a psychopath, they're not going to beat you up or, like, kidnap you or kill you because you entertaining them. So I felt like me entertaining that person was very, kept me alive. Because if I would have said, man, da 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 you don't know my mama, da 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 he would have beat me up. And I, we already know I can't fight. So... Yeah, it would have. You guys watched the other video, my first fight. Yeah, I, I can't fight. So imagine someone trying to beat me up. Whew, the tow the tow truck man is now. I mean, I'm sorry. The AAA man is now almost done with getting my keys out the car. 
so he um the man is like you know I'm I want to get the the random man is like I, I want to get your number so I can hook up with your family and stuff and as soon as he said that um the triple a man got the door open and the random man was like you left your keys in the car man how you do that i said ha 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 i don't know when i tell you i i jumped in my car rolled up my window now mind you my window is is manual so this is me like i am like i am rolling up my window so fast because I am scared of the random man, the random man and the homeless man. The homeless man is still looking at me. He is still looking at me. Okay, let's say I'm, I'm right here. The homeless man is on the window, which is right here. So I'm, I'm right here in the car. The homeless man is looking at me like in the window. And then the random man comes to my window. He comes to my window. And the window is cracked this much. I'm like, mm. and he is like, um, yeah, so what's your number? Now, I, now when he asked my number to get in touch with my family, I was uncomfortable because I'm like, why are you asking me for my number? Like, I, I am a child, I'm a, I'm, I'm a little boy. I mean, I'm not a little boy, but I'm a young man. You ask for my number, you're a creep, you're a weirdo. Um, but at this point, I felt like, what, do I, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Um, and mind you, I cranked the car. The car, the, the car did not crank the first time. That, that car had problems. And I was like, why would the car not crank <laughs> at this point? So the car did not crank. Um, so I'm like, okay, um, I, I cannot escape. I cannot flee the scene. And so the man talked to me. He was like, yeah, what's the number? And I'm like, mm-hmm, 910, da 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 I gave him a fake number. But while he was like in his phone, I turned my phone off and threw it in the back. Or I like, I turned my phone off and threw it somewhere. I don't know, I think I put it beside me or threw it in the back seat. So then while the man is down the phone, the homeless man is um, right there. And he, he is just looking like gleaming inside the car. He's making sure I'm not going nowhere. He is looking straight at me. The AAA man is like, are you okay? Are you good? And I'm like, I'm like, yes, I'm good. Like, I'm <laughs> like, like, my eyes are wide. I'm blinking. Like, you never seen a movie where they do Morris Code. Like, the man, no, I was not good. I was scared. But when I told the man, yes, I'm fine, he said, okay, have a good day. I'm like, no, you, you, didn't, you didn't see the signs. You don't see the homeless man looking at me crazy. You don't see this man, this random man right here trying to take me and God and do God knows what to me and all this other stuff. And you over here telling me okay, and I'm giving you Morris code. I'm over here like, mm -hmm, yes, I'm fine. And you, you, you think you think that's normal? Triple A man left, and I'm like, good for nothing. Good for nothing. The guy was like, I called, I called your phone. You didn't answer. And I was like, oh, my phone is dead. And he was like, oh, okay, well, um, he was like, when they charge, you'll see my number and I'm gonna call you, but it's gonna be from a private number. I'm like, what kind of weird old mess are you on? Like, I'm, this, this is, this is too much. I should've called the cops on him. Um, and then the, the random man left. So I thought he left. So then the homeless man came to the car and I was like, uh, he said, yeah, man, I didn't want to hover you. Uh, I was just making sure you were good and I didn't want to bug you for the money. And I'm just like, sir, sirs, this is me. I literally went into the little console and I found any, I, I think I had like $5 in there. I give that man the $5 because I honestly think if he, would, if he was not there, I would have got beat up or taken or something because he was really watching the car. Like, I gave the man the five dollars. Um, so when I was when I was ready to go, um, I noticed the random man getting in his car as well, and he pulled off and left. And I'm like, you know, I didn't think nothing of it because like, you don't really care if somebody else is leaving. So I I pulled out. I cranked the car. The car cranked this time. I pulled out. Went to the stoplight. Um, mind you, I I'm pretty sure I saw the man 
go straight. I went to the left, I think is how it was. Yeah, I went to the left around this little thing and then I went around and was on my way home. Next thing I know, I look in my rearview mirror and I see random man behind me. And I'm like, okay, ain't no problem behind me. I'm going through all the stoplights, all the stop signs. He's literally still behind me. So I went, I, I made a right into my neighborhood and then he made a right. At that point I said, oh, this man is following me. Like, I'm about to be kidnapped. So, and honestly being kidnapped is not funny. I'm, I'm not making light of being kidnapped. I just really thought I was going to be kidnapped. Um, so instead of going home, which is like one of the first homes you see when you pull in, kind of, I went straight down the hill and he went straight down the hill too. And so I turned into this random parking lot and like got out the car as the fuck was going home. So then I, I was walking up the driveway and then the, the people at that house pulled under a window and was looking at me and I'm, I'm just like. And I'm, I'm like, please, like, don't say nothing. Like, first of all, don't shoot me. Like, don't let a dog lose because <laughs> let's not do any of that. Um, so the man, lived, like, I'm I'm in the driveway, like, out the car, getting my stuff out as if this is my house. He, he came and he was like, hey, I thought you said, because before he asked me what I was doing, and I was like, oh, I'm about to go back to school. He was like, oh, I thought you were going back to school. And I said, oh, I am. I just got to get some books um, from my friend's house or from my house, something like that. He said, oh, okay. So then he left and then went out the neighborhood. So I stayed, I, I got back in my car and I stayed in, in that driveway for a good, for a little bit. When I got home, I told everybody and everybody was like, why'd you? <laughs> First of all, I told everybody the whole story. And the only thing they said was, so why'd you come back home? Like,